Howdy, howdy. Good afternoon. I, uh, first of all, I don't know what the heck happened, but if you haven't noticed, now you can see the pictures on both sides of the uh, whiteboard. This is the very first time I have been able to see those pictures using the web browser to, to come here to workroom. So apparently they're working on things in the back end and it looks like improvements are being made. That's great. That's awesome. I'm actually really glad you can see those. I know it's kind of a small thing, but um, to me, those images that Patrick made, uh, well, he directed AI to make. <laughs> Um, they're incredible images, and uh, and so that's why I got them up there. I think they're awesome, and uh, you know, because I mean, in a sense, in their own propagandistic kind of way, I'm making words today too. Uh, you know, I mean, that's kind of kind of awesome. But anyway, I have some uh, more news coming out of War News twenty four seven, and you want to talk about a doozy. You thought the robot, the robocopters were bad. Um, this is uh, along the lines of the same bad, uh, just much more of it. So War News 24-7 had been kind of dormant for about three days. And uh, today they started putting stuff out again. Now let me go ahead and bring up the web view. And I'll take a peek to see to make sure that that's not going to cause any issues nope it looks good and i'm not going to switch you back over to me today um because you know you guys can't see it very well and uh that ain't cool so anyway i just wanted to kind of hit a couple of the things that's uh that's on war news 24 7. Uh, of course i'll have the link to the article we're going to cover in the description you can go there and and see any of the other articles at your leisure um but just to give you a Kind of a little bit. Uh, this is the article I covered earlier. Uh, apparently, there was a successful launch of a Brahmos anti ship hypersonic missile from India. Um, so now, India, I guess, now has uh, hypersonic weapons as well. So that makes five, count them, five countries with hypersonic weapons technology. And guess who ain't one of those? I, it's 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 on the test, so I can't tell you this time. Baptism of fire for the Admiral Makarov frigate. Uh, caliber cruise missiles hit Ukrainian military infrastructure. Hunt for M1 Abrams in Ukraine begins. First images of U.S. tanks uh, in Kupyansk. I'm sure I said that wrong. Uh, Kim Jong-un examines satellite photos of White House and Pentagon with his newly uh, newly placed satellite. Uh, drone Shahed 136, or I think it's 136, it's not a T, no, hit a ship of Israeli interest in the Indian Ocean. Um, Finland closing their borders with Russia for two weeks, and uh, let's see, Uzbekistan and uh, Kazakhstan are considering supply of advanced French Rafale fighters. Um, Iranian UAV tracks aircraft carrier USS Eisenhower and its battle group in the Persian Gulf. So stuff to keep an eye on. This, however, is the article that that we are going to actually discuss. So we're going to talk about uh, we are going to talk about what they're going to be given to Iran. Essentially, let me peek over and make sure everything. Yep. Everything looks copacetic over there. I uh, I have to check because there's no way for me to see. I wish I had a way to put like a little monitor here. And I'm sure I could probably figure something out. But it'd be nice if I could put a little monitor here so I could view what the video output is. So I would know if it's messing up or not. But anyway, uh, switching back and forth, as you know from the live show. Uh, usually will eliminate any lag that's built up, I assume, in the cache from their browser. So I don't know. They're working on stuff. I, I, I looked and I could see um, I could see that most certainly you guys can still see those pictures. So that is cool. I am so glad you guys can see those now. That's awesome. Uh, all right. So let's get to on to the article. That's why you clicked on the video. And you're like, dude. We came here to learn about what the title said, not your BS. 
Okay, we're getting there. A uh, serious problem for Israel, Iran with SU-35 and R-37M locks the Middle East. New deal for S-400 with SU-57 is coming. Full confirmation, War News 24-7. So what are they talking about? Let's unwrap this a little bit. Israel's margins of attack on Iran are beginning to narrow desperately as the Iranian defense minister confirmed the finalization of the supply of SU-35 fighters, MI-28 attack helicopters, and Yak-130 trainer aircraft. Information indicates the acquisition of at least two SU-35 squadrons equipped with the best of the Russian Air Force, while Iran will acquire, as soon as this becomes possible, the export version of the SU-57, probably together with the S-400. The SU-35s come with the R-37M air-to-air missile, the range of which, according to some reports, exceeds 300 kilometers, creating a serious problem for Israel's F-16 and F-15 squadrons. Oh yeah, it takes them off the board. It takes them off the board, and I don't think the F-35 is going to do too well up against it either. I'm just saying. Well, I have a feeling we're about to find out. Uh, the Iran-Russia defense agreement also includes the transfer of know-how for the repair and maintenance of SU-35. Finally, Iran will receive at least 18 MI-28 attack helicopters. Iran is saying that the groundwork to accelerate the acquisition of nuclear weapons now that it has the proper anti-aircraft arsenal. So, they're really going to be ramping up their their weaponry. I mean, they have been all along, right? But it's going to get even worse now. And so, uh, this talks about the uh, the deal being finalized. And again, I'll put the link to this in the description in the first comment so you can go and read it all at your leisure. I just wanted to bring it to your attention that this is going on. Uh, because if, if you don't remember, and maybe I need to, uh, maybe I kind of need to talk about that for a second. If you don't remember the R-37M, that is the missile that I had done reports for not that long ago that the Ukrainian pilots are saying they have no clue what hit them. They were not given any type of uh, warning indication. They weren't given any kind of co uh, tones. They didn't know nothing. All they knew, the, one, the ones that were lucky enough to eject in time spoke on it. But apparently there had been, I'm assuming, several that didn't know to eject and just went up with the airplane. That's an issue. <laughs> That's a very serious issue. And so I don't think that the F-35 is going to be able to detect that particular missile any better than the F-16. You know, a lot of that radar detection technology is copied from aircraft to aircraft. Now, I'm not saying that the F-16 and the F-15 has the capabilities of, of, of the F-35. What I am saying is it ain't real far from it. It ain't real far from it. See, they're marrying all of this military hardware. What do I mean by they're marrying it? Well, they're making it to where it shares data and information. So that way, all of your military equipment is laying out, mapping out the battlefield for commanders to literally look at in real time and have actual hard numbers, hard facts, hard data to command from. It is an absolute game changer in, in the, the battle space. You know, now you're literally like playing the video game as a commander, looking around to see where you need to allocate this and where you need to allocate that. So... That is, is really the importance of, of the new uh, electronics packages that are on the F-35, the F-22, the F-15, the F-16. But when you have a technology that can't be detected to begin with, it doesn't matter what you have. That is a serious threat. That happens to be the R-37M air-to-air missile. 
from Russia. At least for now. I'm sure we'll figure out some way to detect the thing. But for now, nah, we, we don't even see it coming. So I would imagine you are going to see a lot of this stuff go to Iran. And again, like I said a little bit ago, I have a feeling that it's not going to be real super long. And we're going to find out how that R37M stacks up against the, uh, um, the F-35. So, um, wowzers. Anyway, keep an eye on everything the best you can. Hope to see you later on for the live show. Shalom.